Did you know that the newest version of the Aventon bike box could be turned into a chair? In this video, we'll show you how. Please note that you'll be cutting up almost the entire box. So only attempt this fun and friendly DIY after you've confirmed that you don't need the box for a return. Depending on the model you purchase, the pieces that you'll be cutting out may be in different sections of the box. So be sure to save everything. It's important to note that you'll be cutting through thick cardboard. So you will need a sharp cutting tool. A box cutter with extra blades is an excellent choice. Please be very careful when cutting out these pieces. Move slowly and safely. Keep your hands and body clear from the sharp blade of the cutter. Always angle your cuts away from the body and do not use excessive force that may cause you to lose control of your blade. Begin by identifying a corner of the box where the ends are glued together. This way, you could be sure that you aren't cutting through any of the chair pieces. Cut down the length of the corners of the box so you can open it. Then repeat this step for the opposite corner that is glued together. Again, make sure that you are not cutting through any of the chair lines etched on the inside. Now that you have the box separated into two manageable pieces, look for a safe place to make the cuts so that you won't damage anything underneath the box. Sometimes it helps to place smaller cardboard boxes underneath the large pieces to give yourself some space and support while cutting. Now you can begin by cutting along the straight solid lines of the pieces do not cut along any of the dashed lines and hold off on these oval cutouts for now. Take the five pieces that resemble a chair. The two largest pieces with the extra flaps are the two outside end pieces. The one unique piece with a cutout is the middle piece. The last two will go between the ends and the center piece. Grab one of the two large connector pieces and insert it into the matching slot in the center of the middle L-shaped piece. Next, connect the two matching middle pieces together with the slots in the connector. Then, add the two L-shaped pieces to the outside grooves in the connector. Make sure the unprinted sides are facing outwards. Take the remaining deeper connector piece and insert it into the matching slots in the second row of slots on the seat bottom. Next, take the medium sized strip and insert it into the lower slots on the backrest. Take the smallest strip and insert it into the top slots of the backrest. With everything secure, locate and score the four end flaps along the dashed line. Only cut through the top layer of the cardboard so that it can be folded. Do not cut all the way through. Once you've scored along the length of the dotted line, fold the cardboard towards the chair. Repeat this step for all four sides. Now, use a knife to score along the dotted lines of the three remaining pieces. Again, be careful not to cut all the way through the cardboard. Once scored, fold along the dotted lines.
The back seat cover is the shortest of the remaining pieces. Take it and insert the strips into the rear of the backrest. Gently fold over the backrest along the designated indents, making sure that the fit is securely over the exposed back. Then secure its bottom strips into the bottom of the backrest. Take the medium sized back cover and insert the strips towards the rear of the chair first. Then fold it over the top of the backrest and secure it to the bottom of the backrest. Now take the remaining seat cover and insert its strips into the same area you inserted the bottom strips of the backrest. Tilt the chair onto its back and insert the exposed strips into the bottom of the chair. Congratulations, you've built the Aventon Bike Box Chair. One last option for you if you saved your box clips. You can use these cutouts here and uh, insert the clips for extra reinforcement on the bottom. And there's also a, a cutout for a handle right here if you'd like that. And it's front and rear, so you can have them either way. Enjoy your chair, and that's it.